it's really nice to see you again. For this week's lesson, we're gonna have a little friend with us. This is Isidoro the Crocodile. Say hello to Isidoro the Crocodile. Hello Isidoro, how are you? Say hello to all the children. And now we're gonna let you know what we're gonna do for, need for today's lesson. sing our hello song. I'll do it first and then I'll ask you to join me. Hello everyone, it's nice to see you. Can you now join me? Okay, and first of all, we're going to do, again, playing some blues, cellos and pineapples um, with our uh, percussion instruments or any instrument that you've got at home, okay? I've got two sticks with me today um, and you can have anything, remember, little shakers or little instruments, okay? Um, so we're going to start with blues, okay? Remember blue? Yeah? Blue? Um, and we're going to have our special friend coming and telling us how many blues we're going to do. Should we call Isidoro? Isidoro! Hello again! Could you tell us how many blues we could play just now? Seven! Are you ready to count? Okay, here we go. Ready, steady, here we go. Blue, 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 blue. Well done, well counted. That was very long. Okay, but that was, the blues are fairly easy. Uh, let's make it a bit harder. Should we do pineapples now? Yeah, is everybody ready? Okay, let's call it Sidoro and see which number he's got hidden right now. Isidoro! Hello, Isidoro! Okay, could you tell us how many pineapples we're going to be doing? Okay. Five! Is everybody ready? Ready, steady, here we go! Pineapple, 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 pineapple! Well done! Okay, let's make it a tiny bit harder and we're going to do now Huckleberry Huckleberry Okay, it's going to be some quite fast playing and let's see which number Isidoro has got hidden for us just now Isidoro, hello Now, tell us how many Huckleberries do we have to play now? Six! Well, okay, everybody ready? Ready, steady, here we go! Huckleberry, 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 Huckleberry! Well done! Very, very long. Okay, should we do one more? Okay, this is going to be now a two. Remember your twos? Yeah? Okay. Let's see Isidoro was he's got hidden for us. Isidoro! Hello Isidoro! Now how many twos are we gonna have to do now? Three! Okay, everybody ready? Ready, steady, here we go! Two! 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 Well done! That's fantastic! Should we now put them together and sing with some cards? Ready, steady, off we go! Blue, blue, two, blue! And drop, and plop, and squish, and rest, rest, rest! Pineapple! Oh. And drop, plop! Oh, this is my favorite card. It's like pineapple juice. 
Ready, steady, off we go. Pineapple, 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 pineapple. And drop, and flop, and squish. And pineapple, 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 rest, jello. And drop, and flop, and squish. Ready, and rest, blue. Pineapple, cello, cello, and drop, and blow, and squish, and pineapple to rest, and drop, and blow, and squish. So I've got here all the dolly cards. And we're gonna quickly play Fina with them, okay? Are you all ready? And take them all, mix them up, mix them up, mix them up, and go! Do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do, Fina! Got that fine. Fantastic. Okay, I think that was easy enough. So we're gonna play a different game. Now this next part is gonna be a little bit more challenging. We're gonna do a little bit of dictation, okay? So what that means is that I'm going to play the chimes, but in a different order. And you need to try to guess the order with your cards, okay? Let's do a little example, okay? Where you can see the times just now and then later on I'll hit them, okay? So for example, this could be our dictation. And what you would need to do is put the red Okay, and let's check again. Right. Okay. Should we try one with the chimes hidden? Okay. Everybody listening carefully? I'll play it again. Have you got the cards ready? This was the right answer. Did you get that? Okay, let's try it again. And I'll play it again. This was the answer. Okay, let's check it. Do, re, re. Well done. That was really good. Next, we're going to be joined by Jonah, who's going to do another round with you. See you in a bit. Hi, everybody. Um, welcome back to Songs and Rhymes of Joanna for Arithmical. This week we have a new song to learn and it's called Black Crow. So maybe you've seen a few black crows around your neighbourhood or in your garden and you can do it with some actions flying a bit like a crow. So I'm going to demonstrate it first and then we'll get to learning it. Hi, hello. High low flies the black crow. And there we go. We're going to start by doing a call and response. And we'll keep it to our beat so that it's quite immediate. So high low, high low. 
just like that. Let's get ready. Ready, steady, here we go. Hi, low. Hi, low. Flies the black crow. And uh, well done. So we're almost there now. We've got our two halves and we're going to put them all together and sing the whole song. So I think we can do that with some actions. So we're going to spread our arms out like wings and each time we change word, change note, we're going to tip in the other direction like so. Okay, so ready, steady, here we go. High, low, high, low, flies the black crow. Well done everyone. I hope you enjoyed doing the little tip as well. It's good fun. You might have noticed that the song is made up of two notes and that's two pitches in our soul figure. So we start on so and we go to me. So I wonder if you can do those signs with me. We'll start on so me. That's it. So I'm going to say through the rhyme just using so me and then we'll do it all together. Okay. So me, so me, so me, so me. There we go. Well done, everyone. You learnt a new song and you learnt about the so me. So go and enjoy singing that and going over it a bit more if you like. I hope that everyone has enjoyed this and keep going with Black Crow. Thank you. And now we're gonna do the drawing of a song. Have you ever tried to draw a song? Now this is gonna be a special drawing. It's not the normal drawing of flowers and children that you, you would do. We're gonna try to draw the shape of the music. Now the song that we're gonna be trying to draw is by Johann Brahms and it's called Hungarian Dance Number no. 5. Now Johann Brahms was from Germany but he liked to travel and he liked music from all over the world. Some music he heard was some Hungarian music by gypsies in Hungary and they were playing really upbeat and really nice dances that were very happy and he really liked them so he wrote a few pieces that were um, called Hungarian dances. Now, the one that we're gonna do today is this one called Hungarian dance number five. For this, you're gonna need a big piece of paper and some color pens. I've chosen these three because I've heard the music already and um, there are parts where the music is quite jolly and quite a bit, so I've chosen the blue for that. The parts where the music is really exciting um, and really fast. So I've chosen red for those parts. And there's other parts where music is quite calm. So I've chosen green. Okay. You see that I've already, because I've heard the music, I've already drawn these symbols here that looks like two lines with two dots in front of them. These are what we call in music repeat signs. So when the music starts here, it's gonna keep playing, and when we get to the other one with two, it's gonna bounce, boing, and it's gonna bounce back to here. And it's gonna play all of this again. And then it's gonna keep going. And it might do the same on the next line and get to the end, find the two dots and boing, and bounce back to the beginning. Okay, are you ready?
Hello, my name is Sophie from Rhythmical Music. So we're first going to warm up on the ukulele. So that means we're just getting it nice and warm and ready to play so that it sounds nice when we do play. So we're going to do different rhythm patterns just to warm up. Um, on the chord F, which, which is your first finger on the E string in the first fret and then your middle finger on the G string in the second fret box. And we're just going to do different strumming patterns to begin with. So how about we do a huckleberry, which is down, up, down, up. So huckleberry. So a different strumming pattern that we can do, we're going to do a huckleberry blue. So it just goes down, up, down, up, down. So we're going to go huckleberry blue. How about we do a blue jello huckleberry blue. So that one goes Or we could do a blue, blue, jello, blue. So let's go. Blue, blue, jello, blue. So now that we have our ukulele, I'm first going to teach you the strumming pattern that we use when we're singing the cucaracha. So we're just going to practice our strumming pattern which is down, up, down, rest, down, up, down, rest, or jello blue, jello blue. So um, we'll just give the strumming a go first before we add anything else because once we get that right then it will all slowly fit together. So we're going to go to do throughout the cucaracha. All we need to do. So the first chord we want to go back to chord F. We do it three times before we then need to change to the second chord. So we do that three times before we need to change to the second one. So it goes I'll do it again. So we go jello blue, jello blue, jello blue, and then we change. You see the difference? And we do the second chord for another three times before we change back to the first one. So it then sounds a little bit like this. So the whole thing together goes a little bit like this. The cucaracha, the cucaracha, ya no puede caminar, porque le falta, porque los tienes, las dos patitas de andras. Okay, so now that we've learned the lyrics and we've learned the chords and the strumming pattern, we're now going to put that all together and we're going to sing the song the whole way through. So you want to get your ukulele ready and in position. Put our fingers in the first chord position, which is chord F. La cucaracha, la cucaracha, ya no puede caminar. Porque le falta, porque no tienes, las dos patitas de andras. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. I was Sophie from Rip Nicole and I will see you guys next time. Bye.
And now we're going to play a couple of games on the piano, okay? And I need everybody to stand up uh, as we're going to be moving around the room. Make sure you've got some space around you, okay? And first of all, we're going to play a game that is called Stand Up and Sit Down. And it's got two very simple commands. First of all, is this. Stand up. Yeah? And sit down. Well done. Okay. Everybody ready? Good. Let's play. Ready? Stand up, sit down, stand up, stand up, sit down, sit down, stand up. walking forward and backward, okay? And for this, you're gonna have to move a little bit around the room and when I'm playing notes that go up like this, you have to walk forward. And when the notes go down like this, then you have to walk backwards, okay? So let's practice a little bit. This is forward. And backwards. Good. Make sure that your steps follow each note, okay? Everybody ready? Let's play. Okay, here we go. Make sure you keep the steps are steady, okay? Ah. For this game, I need everybody to imagine that you're little frogs, okay? And these little frogs are sometimes swimming very peacefully, and this is a frog swimming very peacefully. Okay, very, very slowly on the pond, but sometimes the frog will see something, maybe a fly, maybe a mosquito, and then it jumps. And how high can the frog jump? Can you show me how it jump? Let's try it. Even higher. Well done. Okay, so let's swing and jump. Okay, here we go.
song today, um, we're in a bit of a party and we're going to be uh, playing and dancing to a song called Asaya de Carolina. Um, this song is another different language, it's in Portuguese from Portugal and it's called Asaya de Carolina, which means Carolina's skirt. Now, Carolina's skirt is a special one because it's got a little lizard in it. Um, and it's a very jolly, very funny song. So for this, we're going to be doing some steps. Now watch me, and then you can copy. Okay, so when the music starts, we're going to be taking three steps and a clap. It's going to be something quite steady, so it's going to be something like one, two, three, and clap. And one, two, three, and clap. And then when the music starts, swiggling a little bit, then we're going to go around. Okay, and then we're going to go again. One, two, three, and clap. And so on. Okay, everybody ready? Let's play. Website for tips as to what to practice this week and for more videos and resources. Uh, let's say bye bye, everybody. I think we should say a special goodbye to our friend Cocodrilo Isidoro. Bye, Cocodrilo Isidoro. Bye, everybody. See you next week.